Hello, I'm Jordan Pin and welcome to Star Sand, which is finally out in its 1.0 release. It is released from early access. As always, I'll have a Steam link down below if you want to check this one out for yourself. But also, if you own a PlayStation, Xbox or Switch, this is on that as well. So PS4 and PS5, uh, Xbox One and Xbox Series and obviously Nintendo Switch as well. So uh, if you own, if you bought a console in the last 10 years, you'll probably be able to play this game as well. So um, yeah, go check out your stores and that uh, where they, you know, PlayStation Store, etc. Uh, we played this one about a year ago and really enjoyed it. So this is a open world survival game. We are in a desert race. We get lost in a sandstorm. We then shelter, wake up, and we are not where we expected to be. And this one kind of reminds me a little bit of Stargate crossed with a bit of uh, Dune. There are monsters that will attack us. As I say, there are crocodiles in some of these oases now. Um, yeah, really cool game. I really enjoyed it when we played it about a year ago. Been wanting to bring it back to the channel. I was going to do it a few months ago, and then I found out this 1.0 release was coming. So I thought... We may as well wait for the full release. So um, let's get into it. That's my old game. Wow, I survived 31 days. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to just do another one. And then I just put it on briefly just to um, just to get the sound just right and that sort of thing. But there's this whole... Yeah, it's like permadeath. I think I'm just going to stick default medium. Uh, but if you want a compass, I'm going to stick with no compass because I think that was better. But um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the compass will be good. Permadeath is going to be absolutely no and then aliens and stats. I'm going to guess that means uh, like your um, hunger and thirst and stuff are going to go down a bit quicker. I think we'll just leave everything on default. Oh, you can switch the aliens off completely. I kind of like the alien attacks. I mean, I would potentially put it on hard, but I think for now I'll just go on medium because I've not played it for a year. So um, yeah, let's just get into it. I think there is an intro as well, so I'll just let that play out. While running the desert marathon on the fourth day, you get caught in a sudden sandstorm right in between two checkpoints. Following the track becomes impossible, and you soon get lost in a cloud of dust and sand. Blinded by the wind, breathing with difficulty, the sun setting in a direction you can't tell, you start wondering if you'll make it alive, if you'll survive the desert. All right, so there we go. We're lost in our sandstorm. If I remember rightly, we have to find... Yeah, we've got to come over here and find this house and... Um shelter in it from the storm so down at the bottom left there we've got our temperature we've got our hunger our thirst and obviously our health as well so um yeah if i remember rightly did sandstorms whip up i think they did didn't they let's get inside and hide but uh, yeah this was a great game back in when i played it about a year ago and i'll say i've been wanting to bring it back for a while and um yeah just really enjoyed it so we should then wake up i left the tutorial stuff on because I don't exactly remember what to do, so um, it'll take me through the tutorial. I just played for like five minutes or something just, just to get the sound just right again. Uh, let's grab a bit of stone. Oops, sorry, that's the wrong button. Let's grab a bit of stone there. So tab, equip our water bottle. Let's go there. And then we got a drink. It's going to tell me to drink, I think. Left click to drink. There we are. Get that back. And then craft a crude knife. I think I need more than... Uh, what are we? Tools. I, I'm pretty sure we'll unlock a load of recipes. As I say, there's like iron tools and weapons. It was only like stone when I uh, when I played it a year ago. But um, yeah, there's been a lot added. So let's get out there. It is going to get toasty warm because obviously we're in the desert. Let's grab... Ooh, there's a rock. There we go. I missed that one. Let's go tools. Let's craft one of those. Go there. And we'll go over to here because there's some more uh, tools, etc. We'll just go through the tutorial, I think. And uh, kind of get our, ourselves acquainted with the game again. Uh, cut this yucca down. That should give us a bunch of... Um, oh, what was it? Cordage. Oh, no, there's stuff to make cordage, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. It's all good. Let's get that all down as well. Oh, it gets me some sticks as well. Ah, stems, that was it, to make the sticks or make the cordage. Uh, let's grab that actually wants me to dismantle but i don't necessarily need to do that but i'm going to do it anyway just because that's the tutorial i did it in the i didn't do it in the tutorial because uh, uh you know i i didn't find enough uh, stones last time but um yeah i say i was more just looking at the set at the um settings anyway let's go and just go here uh oh i need cordage yeah all cordage let's make two of those 
and then once that's crafted up we're going to get toasty warm as well so uh, as the day gets on it's going to get even hotter so let's make the axe there we go and then it's going to want me to cut down a palm tree i think which is over there well if i remember rightly the start base is over there or the start location we could run off to the oasis that i built last time but as i say there are crocodiles i don't know if they're in every oasis or if they're just in a couple of locations or what i have no idea so uh, like i said they weren't in the game when i played it so um yeah i think we'll just go to the start location it's probably the best thing to do let's cut down this palm tree that's the yeah that's the start one over there uh ooh, there we go actually actually look at it pin there we go and then we'll chop this one down uh, like i say i really enjoyed this game i thought it was great i saw a lot of people criticize it for being barren and desolate and there wasn't anything about and it's like it's a desert it, you know like on Steam for it when this came out, it was like I was just like, "What? It's a desert, man. What do you what do you expect?" It's like saying a stranded deep's got too much water. It's like it's supposed to be set in an ocean. I, I don't get that one. Uh, we've got to cut the tree trunks up and then cut a log into sticks. It's just showing us the basics. So let's just do what it wants. I pretty well much remember it to be honest, but I'm sure there might be a few things that I'm rusty on. So let's get all that uh, goodness find water so we're going to go over there i think there was a good hunting place over there somewhere that kind of general direction i'm not too sure which um yeah it's, i'm a little bit foggy it's been as i say it's been a year so yeah i'm gonna be a little bit rusty to say the least uh let's uh well we could just well, let's just drink from our sports bottle why not there we go that's good and then i'm assuming there's no crocodile at least in this first one because it's kind of the sort of training area as it were so um, but yeah, we'll do everything that we can here, and then we'll just we'll just follow the tutorial. I think it had to build a shelter last time, did it? I think it did. Anyway, let's get over there. We've got our stamina just above our uh, hot bar as well down there, which is slowly draining. Um, I think if you remember rightly, if you got to about 45 Celsius, something like that. That's my. Uh, oh, was it 40? Uh, it might have been 40. You do start to take damage at some point because it uh, gets really hot in the day. Uh, yeah, there's the sun. I'm just looking for the sun. Great game. I really liked this. Uh, this is one of my favourite uh, survival games of last year. It was a, it was a pretty good one, like new survival game. I thought it was. I thought it had some uh, potential. It seemed pretty good. I enjoyed myself with it. I uh, say so we may need to come back, but just yeah, never got round to it. So one of those things. Let's drink up. Hopefully there are no crocodiles here to eat me. There we go. Refill our water bottle as well. I think that's what it's going to want me to do. Craft a pickaxe. Okay. So, oh, we're going to need stone. What do we need for the pickaxe? Tools. Some cordage. Ooh, I might have that. Do I have that? Yeah, I might actually have that. There we go. Let's craft that up. We've got, got everything else. Yeah, okay. Might be okay. We'll just... Yeah, well, I'm assuming if there's a crocodile in it, I'll be able to see it. No. <laughs> Just kind of stay under here whilst uh, whilst we wait. There we go. All right, let's come up. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Let's craft that. Yeah, it's good to be back. It was a good game. I liked it. So there we go. Let's get that. Uh, there were attacks as well. Are the aliens, was it like scolimorphs or something? Uh, the aliens do attack you. They like come up from the, they sort of scurry around in the sand and then kind of come up and attack you. And I think it was like daily attacks if you stayed around, um, which I really liked. I, it's one of the reasons I like Seven Days to Die. And that is, um, you know, you have to defend your base. I I do like base defense, so um, I like that. But I think gather some people didn't. So, uh, ooh, a scorpion. Hello. Let's try and kill that guy. There we go, and then we got. What did we get out of that? Oh, right click. That was it. That was it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's cool off. Please don't eat me, crocodiles, if you're in here. <laughs> I, I'm assuming they're not. It's the start. You know, it's the start oasis. So uh, we're going to need to just keep cooling off. So uh, let's get the pickaxe, and then it wants me to harvest this rock, probably. I would say that's what it was. So yeah, iron tools and weapons as well. That was something. 
um, past a certain point, the eye end was kind of useless when I played it because, yeah, there wasn't much in the way of items. But as I say, you know, it was like a year ago. So, uh, craft some desert balm. Well, I'm going to harvest this rock first. I'm pretty sure these respawned. Or did you have to ride away and they respawned? Hmm. I don't remember. Sometimes scorpions were under them as well. I do remember that. So, uh, what do I need for the. Oh, well, there's some deer. We can do with those. A uh, desert balm was a palm front and a desert fruit. There should be some over that side, right? Hopefully. Yes, no, maybe so. Let's just kind of hang out here. If you stay in the shade as well, it does help you a little bit. So, uh, there we go. Aha, desert fruit. There we go. Uh, if you ate that, if I remember rightly, it was poison. Uh, and there we go. And then this helps you with uh, the sun. So uh, heal sunburn and that sort of thing. Could you get sunburn? Don't remember getting sunburn last time. Coal protection, defense. Yeah, spin him around. Okay, yeah. Did we have that? Inventory. Oh, crafting. There we go. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to... Oh, climb a tree and pick a fruit. Oh, we'll take the dates. Date palm. There we go. Let's pick the dates. There we are, just press space to go up to it. And uh, yeah, if you're new, I would just uh, highly recommend uh, place and craft a market. I highly, highly recommend just doing this. Oh yeah, it was one of these, so I just need some cordage. Um, well, I mean, I guess we could just drop like some of these palm fronds on the floor. Man, I'll take a damage again. Okay, let's just take let's have a quick dip, cool off again. Bring that temperature down a little bit. We've got our oxygen there, so we should be okay. There we go. And yeah, just like stranded deep, you can drop things on the floor. And then uh, I think also, I think I did read um, you can craft from like, if you're like near a container, you can craft from it, which I think is again another cool thing. Uh, oh, I actually need to make the cordage, don't I? Well, let's just make two cordage. There we go. We'll dip in the water again. We may as well. We're going to need some food and that sort of thing as well. And then we'll perhaps just build a little shelter. Uh, yeah, the sandstorms did come in, didn't they? And they broke the uh, like the basic shelter that you could build. Um, it, it only took a certain amount. You had to keep repairing it. The stone was kind of impervious to the um, uh, to those sandstorms. Right, so i got to actually place the mark. Well, I've actually got to craft it first, haven't I? So there we go. Let's craft it first. There we are. I'm seeing a frog jumping about as well, so we're going to have to grab him in a minute. But, uh, let's just see. I think there was only one of those desert fruits. Stand in the shade a bit. There we go. That will come down. If you stand in the shade. Ah, there we go. I'm in the shade. Right, let's put the marker down. Uh, you can rotate it with the arrow keys. Uh, I'm not really sure which way, so I'm just going to put it there. It largely just, once a storm comes in, it does get broken. But you should then be able to, yeah, mark the map. If so, if we mark that map there, like so, then we know where it is. That makes sense. Hunt any animal. Yeah, it's sort of coming back to me. Uh, let's cool off a little bit. And then we'll just go and hunt like a frog or something. Because, yeah, I haven't really got anything else to uh, hunt it with, so... Uh, what do we need for? Well, let's get out of here before. Let's drink as well. Let's just drink. Uh, what do we need to make tools? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's all that stuff. So I think I've got to find the recipes, right? So equipment. Again, I think that's like cloth and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Resources. Cloth was raw hemp. That was it. Oh, a bandage. Were the bandages in it? I don't remember bandages. Okay, interesting. Um, right, there was a frog just hopping around here somewhere. Froggy, where, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. There we go. We got you. Uh, we'll put you down there for now. There we are. Find some meat and cook it on a campfire. Right. So, resources. How do I make a campfire? Place the balls. So I just need some more sticks. Okay, all right, that's that's no bother. Let's run around and. <sighs> I thought that rock was a bloody 
crocodile for a second then. Get the crap out of me. Um, yeah, I'll say. I don't think this is where they're going to put them. Because uh, just the start location. That would be mean. Uh, let's try and fight. There we go. Let's try and find a yucca. Oh, there's a desert. Is that a desert fruit? I know you could eat them and get the. Um, you had a chance of. Like, if you eat like the dates or something, you had a chance of like getting a seed. I don't know whether that's changed, but um, that was one way of doing it. Uh, where are we? Placeables. Yep, I can place that down. I'm going to go over here. That's kind of where I built last time, I think. Thinking about it. Let's come here and we'll just put. Just temporary. Let's go craft that. Oh, my inventory is full. Yuck, good point. All right, let's drop some stuff on the floor. Uh, we'll drop the logs on the floor, shall we? There we go. That's fine. We don't need those. So, campfire. There we go. Yeah, everything so far seems fairly uh, default, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff. And then there is um, like uh, there's like stone walls and things to learn and there's things that you can find, artifacts, etc., that you can find to uh, learn new things. Uh, let's just drop those on the floor as well for the moment, and we'll put that in our hot bar, and then we'll drop. Oh, I can't build on there. Okay, well we'll put that there. That's good. And then open food, and then I'm gonna put some wood in there. Um, do you want to put? We'll put a log in there. Can't remember how long it takes. I think it tells you right. Uh, burns for 20 seconds. Burns for, yeah, let's just throw that in there. I think we got charcoal out of it, right? Seems to remember we got charcoal out of that. Uh, but let's let's go back into the water, shall we? Do that, and then we'll uh, we'll chop a tree down or something. Whilst we wait, date tree. Try and just chop one that is well these trees did grow back didn't they coconut palm just chop a palm tree down just regular food source but at the same time I'm pretty sure they used to grow back so I wonder, ooh, I wonder if you can chop the what if you chop that away now like uh, some of those you can you know if you chop away the uh, like uh, the forest if you chop away the stumps um, that gets rid of the tree completely it doesn't grow back. I wonder if that's the same thing. That's a great game as well. Looking forward to the uh, sequel whenever that comes out. Sons of the Forest. That should be pretty good fun. It's getting dark. Which is good. It means it's going to cool down. Uh, the other thing. Yeah, let's turn. Can I just take that out? Okay, I'll take that out. That's fine. Craft and place a shelter. Oh, was that a save? That was a save thing, right? Yeah, so cordage is what I need. Uh, I think I can craft cordage from the ground, but I don't have any. Can I do that? Or is it maybe in... Uh, might have been in, like, a container or something. I did read something about crafting. Like cordage or something like that. You could get things out of... Uh, boxes you don't have to need you don't need them in your inventory i think i read that but i could be wrong uh we'll hang on to those because we need so we need the logs we've got plenty of those we need some fronds pick up a couple of those craft that up oh yeah my inventory is full oh boy all right drop that on the floor we have to just drop everything on the floor uh might as well eat that. There we go. That's good. Get that out of the way. Right, craft. There we go. Cool. Uh, we probably want some weapons. Is going to be one of the next things because, as I say, they do attack you eventually as well. So, uh, what do we need for that? Cordage sticks, and then we need stones, cordage, and logs. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there was like a samurai sword or something, wasn't there? This looks a bit bigger than it used to be. Um, put this like, it's just temporary. Let's just put it there for now. There we go. Yeah, was that was that always that big? There we go. Uh, Savor the shelter. 
There we go. That's good. Yeah, just like uh, Stranded Deep, you can save the shelter. Craft the hammer. Tools, hammer. Oh, just need some more cordage. Okay, well, that's no bother. We can do that. Let's cut up these palm fronds. And we'll get, some, get some of these stems. And then we get some cordage together. We're probably going to need a lot more at some point. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Um, let's go there. Some cordage crafted up. Uh... Yeah, I do want to make some weapons and stuff, but I think for now we'll just, uh, you know, we'll just do as it says. Craft up a hammer. Tools, there we go. Let's craft the hammer now. It's great. I really need, like, some, uh, this satchel or something. Uh, there was a big, oh, it was this backpack, wasn't it? Yeah, but we need leather, which I've got to go and hunt some animals for. Uh, as well, that was pretty good. Well, all this stuff was pretty handy, wasn't it? But, um, yeah. At the moment, we're, you know, uh, place a piece of foundations. Uh, where was the... Oh, I needed the hammer in my hand, right? Right, mouse button. That was it. Yeah, yeah. It's coming back to me now. Ooh. Door. Okay. Traps and that sort of thing as well. Yeah. So, I need logs and wooden planks to be able to make that foundation. Okay. Alright. So, did we craft planks in? Yes, we did. Crafted planks in here. I'll pick some logs up as well. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. So, I should... Oh, no. Sorry. Right click. Be able to now put the wooden planks down. So, yeah, I think I'm largely just building in the same place. I don't know, but um, so I seem to remember building here, but that's okay. I don't think I've got any more stuff, though, to do that. Nope. Oh, that's it. Tutorial ends. Okay, fair enough. That's all good. Right. Well, then, let's... Uh, well, we need to get some water. I think really uh, weapons are probably going to be something we're going to need very quickly. Well, I'm just going to start chopping some of these trees down. I need any resources. I'm pretty sure they grow back, so one or two ain't going to hurt. So yeah, the dates all fall on the floor as well. Yeah, that's good. Take the fronds, and yeah, it's going to get really cold as well because it's the desert. So you know. Hot in the day, freezing cold at night is what's going to happen, so hopefully we don't get any visitors because, um, yeah, that would be bad. Uh, can I craft a torch of any types? Torch. I need some cordage. Okay. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to... How are we doing? Uh, we also need... Yeah, I need to make just a little base so I can drop everything off. I think that's probably the next thing to do. Uh, do you know what? I think I'm just going to continue to chop some trees down at night. I will um, keep it going. If uh, if anything attacks us, uh, I'll bring you guys back in. And uh, yeah, we'll pick it up in the morning and do a little bit of building or something. Ooh, there's a desert fruit right there as well. Okay. Okay, so it is night time. As you can see, my temperature has dropped right down. It's 8 Celsius. I'm going to start taking damage. I need to either stand near a fire or I'm going to go to sleep in a minute. I've got some stuff together. We'll do a bit more building in the morning, but I just wanted to show you. There we go. It's cold. Look at that. We've got two planetary body bodies orbiting us. I don't know whether that's two moons orbiting us and we're on the planet or whether we're a planet or, or we're a moon orbiting one of these. I'm not too sure, but uh, either way, uh, there we go. So let's now go to sleep we should be able to just go to sleep till morning there we go that should should get us to go to sleep and then uh, you sleep the night away in a soother, soothing dreamless sleep that sounds nice doesn't it okay so here we are it's morning and let's just start drinking from the oasis because we need to get some of that back let's do some building now i want to just get a little shelter together 
drop off some supplies and uh, you know we'll probably call it a video then to get ourselves established uh, they're possibly going to be some attacks so we may want to craft a weapon or two yeah we probably want to start thinking about that as well uh, let's get this building done quickly though I think I've got everything on me that I need so uh, let's get that there like so is that a no, I think that's just a deer. That's just I was gonna say a deer. That's just like a uh, yeah, deer or a sheep or something. I'm not sure which one. Uh, there we go. And now let's put a wall down. It's gonna be a basic two by two. We'll expand it out later. Uh, can we got fronds? Have I got any of those? Yeah, I don't have any of those in my inventory. I need the fronds here. There we go. Just make a very basic rudimentary. Uh, we'll try and hunt that guy as well in a minute if we can. Uh, let's put that there. And we'll get one that side. Oh, wow. I'm out of fronds. What am I out of? Yeah, it's fronds. Okay, I did chop a tree down here, but I didn't take its fronds. So hopefully that's still good. It generally stayed, but they might not have done this time. Oh, where did it go? All right, well, let's just chop another one down, shall we? Let's do that. And we'll just, uh, we'll get some more, yeah, I think we'll get some more uh, materials together. Uh, survived one day, there we go. Cool. Uh, let's grab the coconuts as well. I think unlike um, Stranded Deep, you can just drink those and eat those to your heart's content. I don't think there's any, uh, you know, restrictions on that one. It's like Stranded Deep, you get dysentery and will die from it if you, uh, or you get, is it dysentery? You get the runs, whatever, yeah. So, there we go. Uh... Let's just quickly drop some stuff off, shall we? Uh, we will have to chop that coconut open if we wanted to uh, use it, but um, we'll need it eventually. So let's just drop. We'll just drop this stuff on the floor for the moment, I think. Drop that down. We'll drop. No, no, no! Don't consume that. Oh bollocks! Damn it! I didn't mean to consume that. That poison. Yeah, that poisoned you. Bollocks! Didn't mean to do that. Missed click, my bad. Okay, all right. Well, hopefully we don't die of poison. Um, that would be bad if we do. So, yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> we might be reloading a save. But I think we're okay. But we'll see. Um, so, assuming I don't die of poison, I'm going to chop down some more of these trees. And it, it passed when I played it a year ago. Um, it did take your health down, but you didn't die from it. So, hopefully that's still the same. Oh, wow, these... Don't, these coconut ones don't give a lot, do they, in terms of logs? Fair enough. Um, I think what we'll do is let's grab some materials and then we'll try and finish off building that base. That's kind of what I want to do uh, this episode, if we can do that. Right, so I've chopped some more trees down. The sun is getting high in the sky, so it is going to get really toasty. So we could probably do getting a little bit of shelter. It's going to be really small and just very basic, but uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's actually. Are the, are the, what? The window's cheaper? Uh, slightly. Let's put one there. Let's also put a door in. There. Like so. And then we'll put a door. Can I put a door on it? Yeah, it can. Oh, I don't have the materials. Oh, I probably haven't got the cordage. Right, fair enough. That's fine. We'll sort that out later. Uh. Put a wall there. Actually, I kind of want some windows in. Uh, let's put a window on the back, shall we? Like there. Should put another window in. They are slightly cheaper. No, we'll be okay. I hope. There we go. There we go. That's good. And let's try and get a roof on this thing now. Because, uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit toasty. And then at least we can hide under here. All ah, right, what am I out of? Probably planks, right? Yeah, it's planks. There we go. My temperature is going down now. I've got a little bit of shelter. So uh, let's make some planks, like half a dozen. There we go. Can I make a weapon? Ah, I just need some cordage. Okay. All right. So let's drop a couple of those on the floor. Let's actually just make some cordage. We might be enough, good enough. We'll just make a spear or something. It's better than nothing. Um, I think actually the bow and arrow was really good, wasn't it? I seem to remember the bow and arrow being really good, actually. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. I'll just drop that on the floor. Never mind. Uh, right. Well, let's uh, let's just continue making the roof, shall we? Hopefully, we don't get attacked, but we might do. There we go. That's good. Right. We're good. We are good to go. Uh, have we got any stairs? I uh, could do some wooden stairs, but we'll, we won't worry about that now. Let's not. Let's not worry. Uh, what we really need to get is uh, a weapon together of some sort. Um, definitely want some kind of weapon. I'm going to make some... Ooh. Did that make more than one set of arrows? Uh, sorry, that's the arrows, isn't it? Uh, let's make the bow and let's make some arrows. I just want to get some weapons together because I don't know if we'll get attacked. As I remember it, if you stayed in one place for a long time... Um, they would then eventually find you uh, if you moved. Yeah, there we go. There's a load of arrows that have fallen out. Or has he got too much stuff? Let's drop that. Uh, we'll drop those on the floor as well. The, oh, a few lighting glitches there. There we go. Um, but let's pick up all of the arrows. Ooh. To ignite a fire arrow, knock it uh, and place the tip over a flame. Ooh. I don't remember that. That was different. Interesting. There we go, so we've got five arrows. All right. I'm gonna want some more cordage. Make like a couple of those. And then we'll make one more set of arrows and then we might make a spear as well. I think the arrows were better, if I remember rightly. But that was a year ago, so, uh, you know, who knows? Let's make the spear as well. There we go. At least we've got some weapons now. Uh, let's eat some dates. There we go. Uh, should we cut open this? Yeah. And then we can drink that as well if we need to. And then you can drop it on the floor and break it open. And eat the coconut pulp. There we are. Not exactly brilliant, but there we go. It's better than uh, starving. So, yeah, that's good. So I think really a storage box is what we want now. So we want a load of stems and we want some sticks. Okay. All right, yeah. Not exactly a lot, but there we go. It's something. But yeah, it's getting a little bit toasty out here. And to be honest, I've chopped down quite a few trees. I haven't realized how many trees, or trees I've chopped down, but never mind. There we go. We'll be all right. Pretty sure they grow back, so hopefully they do. Otherwise, yeah. Well, we'll move on to another oasis anyway. I think next episode. But yeah, it was like pl plumes of sm of sand, wasn't it? I was gonna say smoke, but uh, well, I guess smoke. But yeah, we knew you know that they're coming. But, uh, I, I fear an attack. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we won't get one this episode. I can't remember how long it takes them or anything like that, but they do come eventually. Oh, wow. All right, where did that go? There we go. Uh, I need these palm fronds, really. But we might as well chop up the log at the same time. Get some storage down, and then we'll probably call it an episode, I think. Yeah, we are taking some damage. We'll get the we'll get these fronds. Get back inside and then we'll put some storage down. Should be able to make that then. Should be able to either chop up the logs, get some sticks, that sort of thing. So uh, let's go inside. Just yeah, out in the shade, you know. <laughs> That's definitely the way to go. Uh no, we don't want cordage. What we want is that. So I've got the sticks, I just need some more stems. So if we chop up some of these bombs that are already on the floor. Like so. And then I'll probably just need one more. There we are. Chop that up, there we go. Jobs are good and, and then we can just store some stuff. If I remember rightly, I don't think they had a lot of storage, but still. Oh, well, yeah, my inventory's full. What a surprise. Uh, let's drop the rocks on the floor. 
for now. There we go. Pick all those up. They will stay there as well. So, um, yeah, you haven't got to worry too much about that. So, let's go there. Get that crafted up. Drop that in position. And then, uh, yeah, we'll call it a video, I think. I'll make some planks as well. Okay, so there we go. The storage box is in place. I can't remember which way this thing opened. We'll go that way. I, I can't remember which way, which side it opened out, but there you go. I've probably got it back to front. Uh, to, yeah, I have. Oh, well. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll live with it for now. There we go. So we've got a little bit of storage. There we are. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it's the wrong way around, but there. Eh. It'll be fine. This is just a little temporary shelter. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I think for now, though, I think this is where we're going to call it and end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.